That's a plug. Just a little bit. So this is a breakaway. I'm going to hit here. As tree workers, we now drive away and forget about our chocks. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to disconnect the chipper. We're going to dump a load of mulch at my house. Um, so I'm going to show you how to hook this up, how to disconnect it, and a few little key points. The reason this is so important, and I say this to everyone, when you're working in trees, I've got, this is my target. I'm going to hit him. One person. Maybe a house, maybe a building, whatnot. But one person. Driving down the road, there's a thousand targets. Tens of thousands, okay? So if we don't hook this up right, we could potentially kill a family of four. So don't think this is a trivial little task. This is really important because more people can die. And I've had a chipper come off at a high speed at 100 k's, and it's not pretty. Um, a few people have had it happen, so we want to avoid that. So first of all, we're just gonna chock the wheels. I'll do this side. Yep. Always chock the wheels. So now in here, we'll disconnect these. We'll leave one chain on. Always leave one chain on until you disconnect everything, just in case it rolls away. What's this? This is the breakaway. So this is a breakaway. If you pull this out, you have this little male adapter into a female adapter. So when I pull that out, the brakes on the chipper are electronically engaged. So if I put it back on, in, then the brakes are now off. So what that means is you have that cable connected to something in here, probably up here. In case this hitch breaks away, the chipper breaks away, it will pull that plug and engage the brakes. Don't use it unless it's an emergency. You can check it from time to time by pulling it out and trying to drive. Power for all viewers. What's that? That's a plug. <laughs> it's a seven point round plug. Uh, we've got a pintle hook here. This is a pintle hook. Pretty easy to figure that out. Just lift that up. And you do need to occasionally, every few years or so, depending, change these because they wear through and the rings wear through as well. So we've got the jack, which we can put in. Most chippers, the jack here, is also used to manually raise the fin feed roller in case someone's leg's stuck in there or something. Um, the jack is usually able to do that. So you can see we've still got one chain hooked on here. We're all ready to go. We've got the chocks in and we're gonna jack it up. Something you wanna check on these chippers is you can see on the drawbar or the chassis here, we've got the data plate. So we can see how much the chipper weighs, which is, trying to find it somewhere. Uh, it's written in a different language, that doesn't help me. Here we go, 3.9 ton. So 3.9 ton. If that chipper weighs 3.9 ton, we need to make sure this hitch can hold 3.9 ton. 50 ton, all right. So the hitch can hold 50 ton, but you can see it's bolted on. So any old hitch can be put on here. So you don't just check the hitch, you need, need to check the truck as well, which is... Nine, I think. Nine ton. Yeah. So a lot of these chippers are overloaded because people just look at the hitch. When the hitch might be able to carry it, but this can't. And you'll get cracks here or the whole thing will break away. Another place to look for cracks is here. All right, so it hasn't rolled away. We can take the last chain off and uh, go dump the mulch. So that's why we leave the last chain on? Yeah, just in case it rolls away. Yeah. What you want to look for is what's above you. We've got a street light here. Quentin will keep a good eye on that while we're tipping it. And you've also got to watch out for the level. When you tip a load of mulch up, you've got a lot of weight up high. So if you go too fast over this mound over here, you could tip the truck over. So we want to be quite careful with that as we go. It's all right? Yep. You can drive forward.
Do that brake thing that you did before. I'll just come back a bit because my back wheels are going to bounce. You got most of it old. Oh, I'll just roll forward a bit and put it down. When you're reversing a truck on, get your signals all sorted. So what you want to do is have your signals predetermined before you do it. There's nothing worse than trying to reverse and there's someone sitting there doing these ones and you don't know what they mean, okay? This means come back and you work out your own hand signals. This means come back. This means wait, wait, wait there a second. This means stop. This means we're all good to go, you can jump out of the truck. All right, so you want to predetermine your hand signals. You want to stand in line with the... Turn you around a bit so you can see it. You want to stand pretty much in line with this so you can see this. You don't want to stand in here behind the truck. So I'll just direct him back. And I can tell him to go a bit that way if I want. And this means go straight, just nice and straight, go that way a bit, straighten up, keep coming, keep coming. And when he gets close, I can tell him how far away he is, and I can give him little arrows to say, Oh, just wait there a second, wait there a second. All right, so now he's pretty close, he's about that far off. So I'll get him to full lock, and this way. Full lock that way, and then he should get it on. Oh, yep. Go forward just a little bit. Forward? Forward just a little bit. Oh. Yep. So the thumbs up means he can jump out of the truck. By the way, this means just a little bit. All right, so... Do I just follow you? Yeah. We've got to cross the chains. The chain from this side needs to come over this side. First thing you want to do is put at least one chain on. So now we know whatever happens, it's not going anywhere. Okay, but we can put the other chain on as well. These are great little connectors, these. Really, really good. Get it in. Okay, so they're on. Can wind this down a little bit. And it's not quite on. That's okay. Because we can do the old kick method. And it goes on. All right. As soon as you can, get this down. And don't forget, as soon as you put that down, put the pin in. So the pin's gotta go in. And this can be wound up. All right, so do this up here. Don't forget the breakaway and the power and the chocks. The breakaway, don't just hook it onto the hitch. Because if the hitch breaks off, the breakaway doesn't work. So hook, put this somewhere else. Uh, this one here can go up around this. So that's fine. If the hitch breaks away, this is going to pull out. This. And then, as tree workers, we now drive away and forget about our chocks. Another day, yeah. another video.